happening. But what you will see happen here is they use the water cannon to try to push them away. But if they feel that's not working, they will push rounds of gas down into them. They're trying to create a buffer zone between them and the protesters. They've been trying to clear this whole end of the square to bring it back under some form of police control. But every time the police pull back, the protesters come into this gap. And for all that, they are being very heavily gassed and having significant quantities of water onto them. They are still moving up towards the police. We've got our helmets on. And the police returning fire then with gas canisters. And there's a serious quantity of CS gas going now from behind the police lines over the water cannon back into the protesters' lines. They are picking those canisters up, throwing them back at the police, and they are firing fireworks back up at police lines at the top of the square here. It is to regain control of the area in front of them, to force the protesters back, to create what they call a sterile zone in front of the police that they can control. And you can see the police reinforcements moving down behind us here. As a serious quantity of munitions going overhead. We're going to move just back into this alcove because the police are coming down this square now. We'll just pull back here. The team in here, in here. We will just move off to one side. Serious resistance protesters at the bottom of this square. We're just moving into a little bit of cover because they're firing gas in front of it. And to protesters who are further down this street.